tornado kicked its way through Kokomo. It was just absolute devastation. Leaving a footprint of destruction about a mile long. I had it, the radio turned up and it started saying tornado on the ground, tornado on the ground, take cover. Mike Burton saw the tornado coming toward him and knew he stood no chance in the metal building for his custom wood shop. It turns out he was right. You could hear things breaking, a lot of high winds and things breaking, snapping, things blowing up like transformers. The tornado was an EF3, winds up to 165 miles an hour. In all this, there were only 10 to 15 who sustained injuries and no deaths reported even at this Starbucks full of customers. Beyond the damage is another toll. When you look at your neighborhood, what do you see in here? A lot of grief. Joe Gardner's home is destroyed, but he was more concerned about how it all affected his kids, including a six-year-old. First thing this morning at the hotel, he woke up screaming, asking if there was a tornado and trying to hold on to him and calm him down. and. Back at Mike's, about 35 friends shown up to help out. His wife just glad he survived by driving away. Yes, is when I came home, I, di I didn't care about the house. I didn't care about the shop. What I cared about was his safety and our animals. That's all that matters. Everything else can be rebuilt. All after a storm that changed the landscape and perspectives. And in all of this, no one even willing to hazard a guess how long the cleanup will take. Brian Hamrick, WLWT News 5.